paintings that always had animals peeking through the the shrubbery of the jungle, sneaking and hiding around. So here we're going to be making a tiger peeking through like the bushes um, with some grass and some leaves over here kind of peeking through, kind of watching you in the jungle scene. So today we're going to be drawing our tiger, tracing it in black oil pastel and painting it and the green background in one class. And this is how you do it. You will have a white piece of paper and at each table I have provided a little six step how to draw a tiger um, and just follow each step. So I'll start off with a pencil and remember you want to draw light till you get it right. So step one is drawing the head. I'll start the head around that big and then two ears. Now you can make them kind of pointy a little bit, rounded. I think I like it a little, little pointed like that and you can just erase lightly. Um, and then the next step is the nose. Now it's important for the nose, it's a little triangle and it's pointing down. So what I like to do is a little straight line like that. A dot to be like, all right, this is roughly the middle of that line. And then just now connect the ends of the line. And now you got a little downward facing triangle. All right, step two, you're gonna add kind of the inside of your ears right here. Then um, the bridge of the, the muzzle or the nose. So you're drawing two lines going up right here. Then I'm looking at the paper and it's showing step three for my eyes. So my eyes, I'm just gonna come out, a little curve, come out, a little curve at the end. And what's gonna happen is these little curves right here are just gonna be some black lines, part of my stripes. The bottom of the eyes, I'm just gonna do a curve and a curve at the bottom. And then I'll do my eyes just like that. All right, step three is done. Now step four is gonna be the part of the mouth, the little muzzle part. So I'm going to do a big curve here at the top of the nose corner, coming back to that point at the bottom and then doing the same over here. And then for like the chin part of the muzzle, I'm just gonna do a big curve in between, just like that. Now this is where the mouth kind of opens up, like right here. So you can leave it alone like that, or you can give your little tiger a cute little tongue to poke out. Maybe your tiger's sticking its tongue out. Maybe it's been running around all day and it's panting because it's hot in the jungle. It's up to you. All right, next step is um, whiskers. If you want to give yours whiskers, I'm going to do some dots and then some lines for my whiskers. Okay, now the last step is drawing the body. So I'm going to move this up so you can see the bottom of my paper. All right, so all I'm going to do is just a curve on one side, curve on the other. And then I'm going to do like a little kind of oval over here because this is going to be like the white part, the chest of my tiger. But maybe you don't want a white chest of, in your tiger. That's okay. It's up to you. All right, so now comes the stripes. So I'm going to very lightly draw it because I'll be tracing over this with black oil pastel. So I don't want my pencil to really show and you don't have to go exactly over your pencil line. So I'm gonna just do like some kind of light lines coming down like that. And what's really cool guys is that every tiger has a different stripe pattern. So if yours doesn't look like mine or everybody's looks different, that is perfect because nobody wants theirs to look exactly the same. That is just boring. I kind of like the idea of having a stripe there and then maybe some stripes off to the side over here. Ooh, some cool stripes on the cheeks. Yeah. Cool little tiger. Okay, 
So I have drawn my tiger. Now you are going to trace it in black oil pastel. Now, when you're tracing, make sure you are pressing nice and firm. You don't want your lines to be light like that because we are using paint and you don't want the paint to break through the lines of the oil pastel. So if I'm painting my tiger orange and my background green, if I have a thin black line, then the orange and green will mix and you don't want that. It won't look right. So just make sure that you trace everything in black so it A, it stands out and B, it blocks the paint from mixing. And again, if you need to, go over your lines twice to make sure it's nice and thick. It's up to you. And then, so my stripes, I'm gonna kinda do some zigzags like this. And I'm going over those pencil lines that I drew, but not exact, staying on those lines but that's okay. Also notice, maybe you can in this, um, my finger is starting to kind of drag on the oil pastel. So just be very mindful of that because it's going to smudge the oil pastel in areas you may not want it to. So kind of try to keep your hand on the outside. Um, sometimes what I like to do is work from the inside out if it's something big. Tracing, tracing. All right, now I'm finished. Moving on to painting. So I'm gonna paint a lot of my tiger orange, but, um, and I'm gonna leave some white because I'd like some white in my tiger, but if you want to have your tiger all orange, that's cool, no worries. But I'm gonna start over here, and as you can see, because I had nice, thick um, oil pastel lines, it's really pushing the paint away, and these black lines are looking really nice and thick and solid and really standing out, so I'm really happy how that's coming out. This tiger is going to look so cute. Yours can look cute. Yours can look angry. Maybe you want to put some teeth on your tiger. Showing, it's showing its teeth. Maybe it sees a meal and you want it to look like it's about to pounce on something to eat in the jungle. Um, so you can have yours looking friendly or mean. It's completely up to you. So I'm going to finish with my orange all over and again I'm gonna keep my little chest part over here white but you can have yours all orange this is looking cute can't wait till we add leaves and the background that's really gonna make it pop all right so I've done the orange part. Now I'm just gonna put a little bit of pink for his nose and his tongue. So just a little bit of pink for his nose and tongue, just like that. If you'd like, maybe you wanna add a little bit of yellow for his eyes. It's up to you if you like that idea. I think maybe I'll do some yellow. Ooh, that really makes it stand out really nicely. All right, so the rest is I'm gonna do my background green. So you could ha you should have a couple different greens, um, a light and a dark, mix them up. Have different, you know, instead of having just one plain humdrum color, mix the, all the greens to in different parts of your background because to make it not just one green. Interest, make it interesting. 
So now I'm going to take some of my light green and add it over here. So there's different greens. Makes it more fun. And then you're just going to paint all the way to the edge of the paper so there's no white left except for the parts you want white, like the my middle of my tiger and around his mouth on the muzzle part. So we're doing this all in one class so that next class we will be focusing on the cut green construction paper for the grass on the bottom and all that cool tissue paper for the leaves going all, ar all around him. So it really looks like he's, you know, hiding out in the bushes, um, blending in to his surroundings. And I should have some colored um, tissue paper if you want to add like some flowers um, because there's some beautiful flowers in the jungle out there. Um, but it shouldn't take that long to do everything. All right, just a tad left, and then I'm done. There. All right, so here you have it. My Henry Rousseau-inspired tiger. And um, so next week, we're going to add more around it. Now, if your tiger looks different than mine, that is awesome. There are all kinds of shapes and sizes of tigers. If you want your tiger to be a little skinny tiger and tall, go for it. If you want yours to be short and fat, awesome. It adds more character to theirs, so it doesn't have to look exactly like mine, because that would just be boring if everyone's looked like mine. So, good luck. I cannot wait to see your adorable tigers.